It's Billy's time to shine, who happens to be the only character so far that can do all of his specials in mid-air. Also, all of his specials can hit enemies laying on the ground as well, with the exception of his mid-air side special. When Jimmy's videos was released, we prayed for a sunny DLC, and our prayers have been answered. Now, Double Dragon Gaiden needs your prayers again for two more long lost lead members, Bimmy and Jammy. They weren't playable in River City Girls 2, but Secret Base have performed miracles before. So go get a copy of Double Dragon Gaiden if you haven't already, and maybe Bimmy and Jammy may get the spotlight they deserve. If you haven't already, be sure to pray for a Bimmy and Jammy DLC. Like and subscribe while you're at it. I like to quickly point out when he's doing his backward throw when grabbing an enemy, this move does 12 knock damage when the enemy hits the floor. But if you hit the enemy before they land on the floor, that 12 damage will be add up to the total damage of the next hit Billy lands. And the only move that could hit that enemy is his side special giving his side special an extra 12 damage. His ground side special also is the most consistent to get aftershock damage with, especially when following up with his air side special backwards. Doing his backwards throw into side special, hitting that extra 12 damage, and doing a backwards air side special usually does aftershock damage. This is one of Billy's most damaging combos that actually works on bosses if he can grab them. Going on to his neutral special, Whirlwind Dragon. Like all multi-hit moves, the first four hits are stun damage, and there is a chance like Chin's up special where Billy can do up to two knock damage hits when reaching the ground. Each of the four stun hits tries to drag the enemy towards Billy, and if they get too far away, then they turn around and get back into the Billy Tatsumaki. When it comes to chaining into other specials, it's better not to cancel into any other special. Unless that spot where Billy is going to land is dangerous or unless there's an enemy who can't wait to get hit by his side special. As usual, when hitting enemies in midair with Whirlwind Dragon, Billy won't be getting all of his hits in. Next, side special. Soaring Dragon. The only part that hits the enemy on the ground is his ground version at the startup when he starts to lift up his feet off the ground. While the air version of Soaring Dragon looks different, it is very much alike. He deals the same amount of damage and has the same uses as the ground version to either do damage or get away from danger. Like this. Nope, not falling. Okay, I'm falling. When it comes to following up with other specials, following up with itself from the ground version into the air version is the only one that works consistently. When the enemies are positioned in front or behind, in the same row as Billy. When following up with his neutral or up special to hit an enemy, it will depend on their position. For up special, enemies positioned diagonally has a good chance to get hit. As for his neutral special, it's the safe landing special. Since it hit both sides of Billy as he is landing, his air soaring dragon actually is easier to follow up with any of his specials without having to fear of missing. Lastly, up and down special, Diving Dragon, is actually one of the few specials in the game that doesn't knock the enemy across the world when hitting them. With low knockback, Diving Dragon can start combos or even extend them. This even works on enemies that are laying on the floor. Side special is the best to follow up with as neutral has a good chance to miss the enemy. His ground Diving Dragon has that flaw where he takes too long to unleash it, so his air version is preferred in pretty much every situation. Sometimes, Diving Dragon can get two hits in as well, but it's pretty inconsistent, so don't count on it. Here are some flashy combos that can be done on enemies that can get stunned by normal attacks. And that's it for this video, let us know in the comments below if we missed anything, and stay tuned next week for Duke's video.